All right, so I've set up this uh, cylinder head um, in order to make a measurement um, known as end play. So what we're looking for is to see how much the camshaft moves in this direction and how much it moves back in this direction. And you always measure end play, uh, or one of the means to measure end play is a dial indicator, um, probably the most accurate. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the camshaft as much as I can in this direction, and then I zero out my dial indicator, and then I'm going to slide it in the other direction. Okay, and that's my end play reading. Now, you need to be real careful when you're re reading on a dial indicator. This particular dial indicator reads every five ten thousandths of an inch or a half a thousandth of an inch. So you need to be very careful to make sure that you know what each of these little tick marks indicate as far as the end play. Now, if the end play was too tight, I might have something seize up in the, the camshaft um, as it's rotating. Um, if the end play was too loose, I'm definitely going to have some noise associated with that. Uh, typically, the end play is determined uh, by one of the main bearing caps. Um, we're going to help to establish the end play of camshaft.